So, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The grand finale of season two. Season two grand finale is basically, on this day, everybody must switch their game to survival with PvP on. And that doesn't matter if you're in the Crayola Kingdom, the 07 Brew Crew, or the Empire. It doesn't matter even if you're in your homes. It doesn't matter. You are on the survival plane, PvP on, and you can be hunted down. And you only have one life. And that one life essentially means if you die or fall to the hands of anybody else, then then you have to leave the experiment for good. And essentially, it's the last man standing wins it for the faction. So there is a lot at play today. But you will see what happened to me personally. Yes, spoiler alert, you read the title description. I was defeated. But I was I defeated, especially when I've been cataloging videos of my PvP victories and... And yeah, you'll see what happens. You'll see how I got taken down. And it's for the most frustrated reasons you could possibly ever imagine. In fact, after recording, I'm not going to lie, I had to walk away from my desk. I had to rec I had to physically walk away. I had to go and take some time, mate. Because, for example, the entirety of Season 2 of the Light No Sky Challenge... You would have expected, you know, Norman Sky multiplayer to be all over the place because that's what we're always been used to with Norman Sky. It just seems to be a, a part of the game. But you know what? It hasn't been. Norman Sky, for multiplayer anyway, over the course of the entire season two, and that's been weeks and weeks and weeks at this point, has been running flawlessly. It's been running almost perfect. And everyone's been having such a great time in this season because of the multiplayer actually working and doing what it's supposed to be doing. But today, today of all days, it had to not work. And it had to virtually break in the most frustrating ways I've personally experienced since starting playing No Man's Sky. I don't know what it was about today, but things just weren't going right for me. And they weren't going right for anybody else on the server either. Now, as you can see right here, I have joined in-game, ready to take on the fight. Now, there's nobody here for me. And that's not by accident. I know that everybody right now is on this world, ready to start PvP. But no one's showing up for me. And for everybody else, no one's showing up for anybody. It is starting to become a big problem. So I start to try and resolve the issue, thinking, first of all, it was just me. Because at this point, I didn't know whether or not it was everybody having a problem or just me. And that's just at this very same point in the video. Now, at this time, I'm trying everything. And I even came out of my game. And then I got stuck on this screen for ages. And I actually physically had to restart my computer because I got locked down and I couldn't even exit out the game. I just got this connecting bug. So I knew straight away that there was something wrong with Norman Sky itself for the servers. But again, today of all days, it had to happen like this. But still, bear with me. So after restarting my computer, I logged in on my main account instead of my Light No Sky uh, Season 2 account. Now... As you can see, no one's loading up in the anomaly for me on my main account. And I never have issues on this main account with multiplayer. Just being in the anomaly, as we know, I've got about 400 videos right now to prove that it normally works absolutely flawlessly, more or less anyway. But today, for whatever reason, nobody's appearing at all. And every single time I go into the options menu and I check the multiplayer, I just keep getting that there is basically a network issue, like, you know, matchmaking cannot happen. So I do not know what's going on today. It is incredibly frustrating. And finally, just when I thought I got somewhere, I went to join friends and I joined or tried to join Captain Steve thinking, OK, I know that he is playing on the Light No Sky Season 2 server. But every time I tried to join him, it just failed to join. And then he completely disappeared from me. So to say at this point I was incredibly frustrated was a complete and utter understatement. Finally, finally, I seen one person on the planet. I managed to join 
on Mike the Manchild's instance. And it looks like he was in a base I've visited before. And this is where I originally took down Mike the Manchild in a previous video. Now, we do have as well, Captain Steve managed to join me because I was in constant communication what was going on and what was happening with Captain Steve as well because he was also having issues having to rejoin and join again. Same with Ghostlight, same with pretty much everybody. Now, for some reason, the servers started to behave just a little bit. So I decided to go ahead and start doing some PvP. However, this then happened to me. I was getting trapped in this, well, in this trap, essentially, that Mr. Stormageddon has bought in, in his base. Now, I couldn't believe it at the time. I've just gone through all that just to even start PvP, and I was essentially going to get taken out by a very clever trap. However, it didn't hold me very long, and I did eventually manage to escape. Now, knowing that Mike was still inside of Stormageddon's base, he's obviously hiding in there. I noticed a few more people started to come online. Like, for example, Mr. Stormageddon himself just physically randomly appeared right in front of me. He wasn't there two seconds ago, but then he joined the system and he was right there. So I started my attack and I started to take him down as much as I physically could. However, he then disappeared from me. I didn't know where he went, what he was up to, what he was doing, and I was just feeling okay. Is this down to him being sneaky, or is this down to the, the network issues that I've been having all morning at this point? But I could still see him kind of moving, so I thought, okay, has he gone in his base? Has he gone upstairs? And then I realized my jetpack was still really, really poor, because jetpack this season was not something I focused on mainly. But I did notice that a lot of the all seven brew crew members were now starting to show up for me all of a sudden from nowhere and yeah as you can see i'm fighting them they're trying to like go around on me and attack me so the next one i found was jackpot ninja and i was just absolutely levering him because he was on the ground now watch what happens next again more and more frustration i would have had jackpot ninja here however watch this as soon as i start to attack him he physically goes through the brick wall. He goes through the brick wall. What the heck? Now, first I thought, okay, is this like some kind of secret entrance that I'm not familiar with? But because of the, the network issues, I can only assume that the brick wall wasn't there for Jackpot Ninja and there for me. So he literally just transmuted through a brick wall and I couldn't finish the job. So not only am I dying constantly to the barrage of fire from the other all seven members, I got stuck in a trap, a guy went through a brick wall, I couldn't even get in the, the instance to start PvP in anybody. Let's just say this was not going my way and I was already getting so incredibly frustrated. And then all of a sudden I got pulled in to, I'm assuming what must have been like a, a, a connection that was already pending into then Captain Steve's instance, which then removed the other lot I was fighting, to then fight Captain Steve and Ghostlight. So I was at this point, I had one health shield and I was trying to regain the last of my health. And I thought, you know what? I knew at this point I was in trouble. I knew it. I knew that, you know, Ghostlight was probably up in the tower somewhere, ready to like, you know, take me down as i've seen him do on plenty of videos he has that little bolt sniper thing that he uses I, I knew i was in trouble here with literally one shield and even with a full tank of health i was not going to be a match for these two let alone anybody else so i just went for it i knew my time was up at this point i just had bad luck after bad luck after bad luck and Eventually, I got a few good shots off at Captain Steve, and yep, yeah, that was perfectly fine, but I knew I was only doing about 20% damage to him each time. I then got hit by one of those oxygen plant things again, and I I just took it. I, I took the, the, the L. I, I let Ghostlight just finish me off. I was trying to re redo my, my health anyway, and yeah, that's how it went for me. At the end of the day, it was probably the most frustrating play I have ever, ever, ever encountered in No Man's Sky, ever. And, and this definitely tops the chart, for, especially with the network issues. This tops the chart to anything that's happened before. 
I don't understand why today of all days this has happened when basically the entire season multiplayer I was praising it and then today it just failed completely now if you are taking part of the light no sky uh, season challenge and you have been on today let me know in the comment section down below did you experience any of these issues that you've just seen me experience or was it okay for you so I'm, I'm at the minute I'm getting for everybody who's took part this morning from who I've been speaking to it's been pretty much the same sort of thing. But let me know in the comment section if you've been having issues. But also let me know in the comment section how it's multiplayer has been in general for you guys. Like I said, very, very frustrating today. Like I said, I had to even walk away from the desk after recording this because it was just that frustrating for me. But yeah, there we go. That's how I ended my run on the light no sky season two and you know what i took the l i took the defeat and i bowed out gracefully and i hope that the rest of my faction that are still alive can avenge the crayola kingdom but there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is everything from me here today and as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one bye for now